Over the last 10 years, the Department of Radiology at the University of Florida College of Medicine has conducted a simulation-based evaluation of radiology resident competence in critical care imaging. 103 residents interpreted this case of basilar artery thrombosis as one of 65 cases during an eight-hour simulated on-call shift with a median score of 0 out of 10 and an overall average score of 0.87 out of 10. Overall, the average number of points lost out of 10 to observational discipline was 8.93. At the same time, 0.19 points were lost due to interpretive error on the, top, on the part of the residents. We define an effective report to be one which achieves scores between 7 and 10. In terms of letter grades, this would be A and B. In this most missed case, 9% of residents produced effective reports. We define a report having a critical error to be one with scores between 0 and 2. In terms of letter grades, this would be F and D. In this most missed case, 90% of residents produce reports with critical errors. This was a middle-aged female patient who presented to our emergency department with acute onset weakness, diplopia, and altered mental status from last two hours. A non-contrast CT was performed, and we will review the ac actual images now. The first thing I do is put it in a headset window setting and do a generalized review of the images. The quality is good. The gray white matter differentiation is well maintained. There is no global or focal loss of gray white matter differentiation. The ventricles are normal in size. The cells are normal. And the cisterns are all well maintained. I don't see any acute parenchymal, subarachnoid, intraventricular, or extra axial hemorrhage here. The basilar artery is too bright. Compare that to the proximal PCAs and the middle cerebral arteries. The proximal basilar artery and the distal vertebral artery appears okay, but the distal basilar artery, mid and distal basilar artery is too bright. This would be consistent with an hyperdense basilar artery, suggesting acute thrombosis, which would explain most of the patient's symptoms. At this time, you need to pick up the phone and call the ER physician, neurologist, and neurosurgeon with these findings and recommend a limited MRI with diffusion weighted imaging to see if there is any acute ischemia in the uh, brainstem and do a CT angiogram with perfusion to evaluate or confirm your finding of basal artery thrombosis. This patient will need an immediate TPA and if that fails, a intra-arterial TPA. These patients do generally very well with this therapy. So nobody should miss a hyperdense basilar artery or a hyperdense MCA sign.